the World Series for your birthday at one point. Right? Bowman you know, Sapphire, know, random team half case number series. two. I haven't seen them. Everybody was saying, oh, happy birthday, Brown, Brown. I'm like, and I'm like, and I'm like, watching the stream, I'm like, where the, Brown's not in chat, where the fuck is he? <laughs> the, my here. stream was like four minutes behind. Bro, I came here, Jared is such a doofus, I love the kid, but he, I came here. He's doing me a huge favor. I, I, somebody gave me a twenty-five thousand dollars chip, and I need, I can't cash it because I'm not a baller like Jared. Six times, so I need, six I need times. To break it down. So Jared obviously can break it down because he's got five K chips. So I asked him, can you break? Can you do me a favor? Can you bring five flags to the office? Can I give you a twenty-five K chip, a cranberry for five flags? He said, sure, no problem. So I came here with this chip, and Derek, I walk in, and Derek goes, oh. Jared says he left 10 minutes ago in Tavino at Paris. I'm just thinking to myself, like, why couldn't you just have left five chips with Derek? Like, you know, his best. He is. even made a comment he, to me. He's like, Brown has to come. It's his birthday today. I'm, so, I'm like, I, I told yeah, him, was, I'm getting a haircut. I'm coming to the office. It was crazy. As, um, yesterday, he calls me. He's like, hey, is my ID at the office? And I'm like, looking around. I can't, I can't find it, man. I checked the drawers. I checked the It's right in front of him. No. Is that so you? Rocket I, Rich? I start digging. 16, I is that you? Mm -hmm. And I dig in the side of the seat. I'm like, oh, here's your ID and your debit card and a $20 bill. No way. And he was like, are there some poker chips there? And I was like, no. He was like, can you check again? And I look in, in the side of the seat. five or the bottom. Two twenty-five. Two twenty-five <laughs> chips. So and, saying, he's like, and he was like, this. "Can you drive them down to me?" Because he needed his ID. He was trying to get in the tournament. He didn't care. The chips were fine, but he needed the ID. Dude, I have so many stories like that. Here, I'll give you a story from fifteen years ago. Okay. Oh no way! Karen bought you the spot. I didn't even realize. And you just got the Yankees in the random. No way. Karen. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Karen Yankees Barber. in the random for Brown. Let's go. Yo, one time Backer was coming from Eddie Tink's private game to my apartment like he did every single day, okay? And he gets out of the cab and he's like super happy. He's like, oh, I just won a bunch. Like, I've won like so many days in a row. This is so great. And I was like, that's awesome, man. And he's like, and he reaches in his pocket and he's like, yeah, and Eddie just paid me the 40K that I won last time. And then he pulls out 20K. I'm like, dude, that's 20K. Where's the other 20? And he's like, you just, I just did 40K. He's like, well, he gave me eight 5K chips. And he like, checks his pockets again. He still only finds these four chips. And he's like, oh, I think I, I dropped 20K in the cab. And I'm just like, <laughs> and, he, and, and then he's like, oh, it's okay, whatever. Like, as he literally, like, it's as if he didn't miss a beat. It was like, it was as if, like, That's somebody, nice. like, stepped on his toe for a second. You know what I mean? That's he's nice. like, oh, I left less 20K in the cab. Like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm going to have to start checking backer's chair. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Backer's chair could be a future gold mine. <laughs> Skeens base, first color of Eight. the break, first Bowman. Thank you, Karen. He knew he was missing the chips though, because he had some in For his sure. pocket. Still. No, twenty-five he's like, keys. He's gonna know. Five keys. He's never gonna know. <laughs> I got good stories for you about I'll drive backer's around. chips. <laughs> You're like hitting speed bumps fast to like shake stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so listen to this while he's open. It this. is. And more color right on the top of the pack. Honeyman. At a 99. Ooh. And Jenkins. Thank you, JK. So I wanted to bet the Reds. I wanted to add to my bet. I got them at like plus 400, 450 preseason, right? Mm -hmm. I saw they were plus 1,200 like a week and a half ago. I was going to bet them, but I'm distracted by poker. Whatever. And what happened? So, the next, then they win. They win a game. And then I go to check the, lot, the line the next day, assuming that it's down to like a thousand because they won. And sure enough. Ooh. First auto is Bryce Matthews. How, many, the au how many autos do you get in this? Bryce Matthews. One per box. Right now. Oh, nice. Um, one per case or one per box? One per box. It's like Bowman Draft Sapphire was. Oh, this is a half case for you doing. Yeah. Oh, nice. So I saw they won. Aiden Miller base. And then it went up to 1400 which made no sense. So I was like, oh my god, I really need to deposit some money. And bet it. Then, they, then I get distracted by poker again. Niven's on top. And then they win again. This was like in the middle of their big winning streak? Yes. Towards the beginning. And then they win again. And then I checked. I'm, I'm hanging out in my friend's room. It's like 3 in the morning. I was playing poker right the next day. 
and I see that the line is plus 1,800. And I'm like, this makes no sense. They just won both days, and the line went the wrong way. And I freaked out, and I hit up everybody I know. I was like, does anybody have any Venmo? Send me like 2K Venmo. I need, I need to bet on the Reds immediately. Look, I'll give you cash tomorrow. I get 2K. I deposit it. I go to bet $2,000, and the book's like, we need to review it. No right? Way. In my face, ooh. Green Jack Hurley. In my face, they lower it to seventeen hundred, and then they say they'll take five hundred dollars of my action. I'm like, okay, fine, I take it. Then I try to bet the other fifteen hundred. They're like, review it. They drop it down to plus sixteen hundred, and they say we'll take twenty. What book was this on? William Hill. They said we'll take twenty-five dollars of your action. I'm thinking to myself, like, why even offer it? Yeah, what? That's right? Just, it all seems off. Okay, Chase so now Davis I've, Gold. So I've still got fourteen hundred and seventy-five dollars in my account. Now I the Cardinals up, are flying. I end up tricking them by parlaying it with like the Phillies to win the division. Okay. Like something that's just a yeah, lock. Yeah, exactly. We have it. black. Ooh. Black number to ten. Good luck. Not an auto, not a first. It is Honeyman. Wow, Ever honey since Karam said that, we've had like four Cardinals colors. We need the Pooh's flying out. Five out of ten for the combo spot. He looks like Chris Sabo with those goggles. Right? Remember Chris Sabo? So they wouldn't let you bet it? So I finally end up tricking them and I bet it, okay? The next day, they play game one in their series against the Cubs. They win one game. I check the line the next day, plus 550. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like it was just wrong to begin with. Like it was. At, at that high. Gold Ooh. Auto, Cooper Pratt. Nice. Both halves of this case had a Cooper Pratt. For Ting and the Brewers. For the first place Brewers. <laughs> the first place Brewers. Yes, I checked every other book when I was making that bet, and it, they were like plus 800 or whatever. It, like, it was a broken line. Yeah, that's odd. It's with William Hill. We're going to hit a Yankee. Don't worry, Karen. It's the Karen Karma. Yeah, William Hill is usually... Morales, yeah. yellow of Trey Morgan out of 75. Yeah, we'll go back to a full case next. Who do you think is actually going to win that division? Your honest opinion. I still think the Cardinals are. You're nuts. I, I you think, are. I think they're, they're the team that's most inclined to go big at the deadline, I think. I think the Brewers are definitely not winning. I think the Reds are just too young. The Cubs are... The Pirates are too young. I think the Reds will win the division. Yeah, I mean, I know you do. No, but I, like, still actually think yeah. it. Like, I'm not just, you know... No, I mean, my opinion hasn't really changed you know? either. I think as, as long as the Cardinals hang around and they're not sellers at the deadline... Cardinals are, I think the Cardinals are such dust. Yeah, some some series it does look like that, and then and then they just come off and. You're like you're like late twenties, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're like the exact age where this is your first experience of being a diehard sports fan of reality versus reputation. This is this is your this is your learning experience. In ten <laughs> years, you'll see this again and you'll recognize it. We have a black auto. No way. Wow. Two of the ten today. Jesus Oreos Jesus. for dinner. Second Walker Jenkins Black Auto of the day. Wow. Holy cow. Four and five out of ten. I, someone yeah, told I mean, the me they've been watching a, good a lot of Sapphire life. and it tends to run together. I'd be like all over every Twins break. Yeah, right now. Walker twins. Jenkins in the five case. And what's the first thing I said when I walked in and I saw well, your mantle? The person with the PYT so hit this one. So. <laughs> Jenkins is flying out. They gave us all the Jenkins. That is crazy. It's such monster cards. Wow. Yeah, I know. I know. The Cardinals have been good my whole life. I, that's, I know. Now I'm we have red. You. Whoa. And now we have red. Is it a first? For the Angels, Team Color, Rios. Six bucks. Four out of five. Angels, is that a combo spot? Maybe. Yeah, Braves. Yeah. I just... Yeah, you'll see, man. I think the Pirates have no chance. I think the Cardinals will finish in either last or next to last. And I feel quite I would bet any amount of money. Don't. Um, I don't want to take your money. It's all right. You'll learn. You're gonna Green of Wagner. See. You know what I'm saying, right? It's like... 
It's like the cow. Like I was like young, and the Cowboys were like so good, and then it's like all of a sudden they're just not. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like, mean the Cardinals. But it, it's not just like their old guys. I like a lot of their young guys, like Mason, Wynn, Burleson, Gorman. Those I actually guys are really all li- breaking out. I actually really like Gorman, but my concern is that he's playing not a hundred percent the whole year. Here we go. Oh, let's go, Yankee. It's Spencer Jones. Yes, he's really good. Sapphire selection. He's heating up too right now. To beat the sort. <laughs> I like um I like Nolan Gorman a lot, but he's playing with a, a another black. Whoa. Behind Aiden Miller for the pods is Homer Bush. Erie might be a buyer. Seven out of ten. I really love the what the way with the sapphire selections look this year. Yeah, me too. Way, way better. You saw? Yeah, way I haven't better. seen like colors, but yeah, they do. just the the way they look. Yeah. I don't know how to. I don't even know how how do you even describe the difference, right? Who's the Padres McCray? This looks like um. You know what it is to me? Actually, I figured it out. If you like the look sapphires, it's if you look at it like. If you were to compare like atomic to like cracked ice, it's oh, like it's a sand. And a yellow yeah. Churio. Been a lot of Churio Have color today. Have you watched today. the flare? I've, no, but I've seen the highlights. It's been amazing. Good. So I bought, good. I bought a base spot and I bought a flarium spot just because the cards look so good. Get base for sure. Still have two boxes. You should to buy go. the base and the marble also. If you have the option. chance. The base and the marble. Yeah. Yeah. Or the rainbow spot if you're... See, I always loved Flair as a kid, though. So that was like... It stood out to me. When I started seeing it, I was like, I gotta buy it. What is this? Is that a redemption? The heck? Is there something behind it? No? It's just like it's a... has got a little strip of it, sapphire The top it. of it made it look like it was a redemption. It's like That's a what I thought, blue. yeah. It, it faked us out. Invisible Ink. Skeen's base. Invisible Ink Redemption. Gold of Colt Emerson. The um, That is so weird. Do you remember the depth of... Was it Depth of Darkness out of black? Yes. The splintered facades are like that. Where well, like depth. But then it has like pieces from like how their characters developed in the comics over the years. Another Cooper oh, Pratt. Cool. And it's just like pieces of their face from the different comics. That's really cool. It's awesome. I haven't seen that card at all. I haven't seen that... That type of card. And Jordan yeah. Walker should be back up soon. It's not even like I love the Cardinals. It's just mostly that it's uh, I'm Josh anti Jr. every other team in that division. Well, it's not a strong division. Jenkins. Right. It, I'm, I'm, we're in agreement it's on that. It's not a strong division. It's not a strong division, but like... I mean, it, you know, what's funny is like... You, when I just mentioned to you how you could have gotten the Pirates like a few days ago at 25-1 to 1, and now they're 10-1... to 1, I honestly should have just bet it. Like, even if I don't think they have uh, any chance, it's like, it's just... I wouldn't bet that at 25-1. to 1. I mean, you know they can't win, but like... Bryce Matthews again for all sports. It's 10-1 to 1 right now. Pirates are exciting with Skeens and Jones, but they're they're far away. Um, Pirates... Skeens and Jones make it make the team so much more fun to watch. Yeah. You also, you also know that the Pirates won't spend at the deadline. Right. Yes, that's also so. true. Yes, Stein. We gotta add some more half days randoms for sure. Anyone? Oh yeah, thank you. Okay. Team color green, Jacob Wilson. Nice one. Actually, I would actually expect the Cardinals to sell at the deadline. I think really? so too. Uh, yeah, I, think I agree. They want to try to get out from under Arenado. And, I agree. And some of the older guys. I think they do like the youth, but I think they're going to try to get out. I agree. I think they're looking to the future. I hundred percent agree. I, I was going to say that when Hawk said before that they'll be buyers, but I don't want to break his heart. yellow first Bowman for Brown. Oh, let's go, Karim Karma in the house. Yeah, I mean, that's why that's that's the first thing I said, that the trade deadline is the biggest thing for that division. But if the Cardinals are there, like, within a couple games... I, still I don't think they will be. Though. I don't think they will be. You know, you could also look at the Pythagorean and just the run scored, runs against, and the only two teams that are getting it done in that division are the Brewers and the Reds. The other three teams, they're all, impo- they're all imposters. That's overblown, though, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, sometimes you can get through with a crazy run differential, though. I know, but... And then you lose in the first round, like the Washington Capitals in the NHL playoffs. 
That's what happens. You get swept. It's like what was that fantasy league I was in last year where I like led the I led the league and run in uh, points. Another and black. The, playoffs. <laughs> the third black of the break jersey match. Reiner Arias for the Giants and Maggio. PC in a random. Wow. PC piece in a random. Love it. Three blacks. It's crazy. And a red. Gold of Guanipa. Product looks Good really to nice. see Maggio in, in here hitting stuff, even though he doesn't have the time to actually chat with us. He's a hitter. Oh. 10 out of 50 gold auto, or 1 out of 50 gold auto of Bradfield for Rocket. Rocky Rich, his first break in the room. Let's go. Some new guy mojo, welcome in. EBJ. He hit his first professional home run yesterday. Did he? Yeah. How long has he been with the team? Um, I guess he played a little bit last year, and then, I mean, he's really this not year, a power guy at all. Yeah. yeah. He's probably, I mean, he's had a full season this year. He's just more of like a contact and speed guy. Mm -hmm. The one future I'm all over right now is Mariners World Series. That's why C-Boys bet it. I feel... And a 75, it's Spencer Jones. You're so sharp, and we are, we're quite just disagree. I, I bet them every the day. So can't the, perform in the playoffs. The I, I actually, I actually, I think it's, I'm not betting it, because I don't think it's worth it for the price. See, this is what I was talking about. Like you Because can they're going to they're gonna get a big name at the deadline, and they're going to go from true. 15 to 1 to 8 to 1. Yeah, but the Astros are also going to go on like a, a 20, a win See, 20 I think the Astros games. are sellers. Hmm. I think the Astros are more likely to be sellers than the Cardinals. I don't think so. But I could be Last running. hit is a green of Yoandi Morales. I like the Astros to make it close to, at the end. I do think the Mariners will probably win that division, but I think the Astros the are going to give them more. division is beyond locked. I'm so confident. That. that pitching is just way too good. The pitching is amazing. And the team is just too good not to make any moves. The Astros have had a lot loaded. of bad luck, though. They will get either Luis Robert or Pete Alonso. Maybe, yes. I agree with that. I agree with that. That's a good that's a good opinion. I like that. Rika. Thank you, Karim. Love you, appreciate you, man. Hope everybody's having an amazing summer. Full case PYT three is next. I put two more half case randoms in the store for you guys. You can do them. Whenever they're full with hot. They do strike out a lot. They struck out 19 times last night, the Mariners. But Yeah, Chad was telling me. He, yeah, Chad says if you want to make money on prop bets, he says bet over strikeouts on whoever's facing the Mariners yeah, every their day. Their team is just way too good not to add bats. Uh, their team is very good. I'm not denying that. I just think the Astros' record does not correctly indicate how decent their team is. I think the Astros are decent. Well, I agree with that, but they also have just had such brutal luck with with pitching and injuries. They had, they had a lot of bad luck, period. No, probably not, Kareem. I do think the Phillies look pretty good, man. Although, I Walker bet Jenkins black again. Bet against them yesterday. I gotta do this when this one's.